Okay, so we are going to learn about distance, speed, and time now. Alright, the most important thing about distance, speed, and time is the distance, speed, and time triangle. Alright, and it looks like this. So distance is on top, speed, and time. Now the thing is, if you are doing any distance work, and I am watching you, I expect you to draw this triangle on top of every single distance question. Even I draw it too, alright? So it's really easy. So if you want to find distance, you just take the speed times the time. So distance equals to speed times time. And if you want to find speed, then you take distance divided by speed. Eh, sorry, distance divided by time. So speed equals to distance divided by time. And if you want to find time, time is then equals to distance over speed. Distance over speed. And average speed equals to total distance divided by total time. So what does it mean? You need to add all the distance divided by all the time taken. All right. Now, uh, I'm going to go through questions with you later. So this is the basic of what distance, speed, and time is. This video is also going to go through the basics with you. So I want to go through uh, some other things that you will need to solve your questions. Now, this is uh, another very typical kind of question. So if you have two objects traveling in opposite directions, so therefore if you have a car and a car that's traveling in this direction, okay, uh, how do you find the distance between them after some time? Okay, And this is the formula. So the distance apart equals to the sum of the speed times time. So if this is traveling at 60 kilometers per hour and the other car is traveling at 90 kilometers per hour uh, what is the distance after three hours okay so the distance is sum of the speed equals to 90 plus 60 times the time times three and that gives you 450 kilometers away after three hours. All right. So again, remember, if it's traveling in opposite directions, you need to add up the speed and then you multiply by the time. Now, what if they are traveling towards each other? All right. So let's draw it out. Another car, A, car, B, they are traveling towards each other. So time to meet each other. So when they finally meet in the middle, again, car, this is car A and car B, this is car A and this is car B. Uh, how, when, how do you find the time that they finally meet each other? It's the distance apart divided by the sum of speed. So let's say that the sum of speed, this is 90 kilometers per hour. This is 100 kilometers per hour. And the distance between them is 350 kilometers. All right. So how long will they take to meet each other? It's the distance apart, which is 350 divided by the sum of the speed, which is 100 plus 90. 100 plus 90, that gives you 1.84 hours, all right? Okay, take note, uh, I'm not sure if you are comfortable with this, but 1.84 is not, is not equals to 1 hour and 84 minutes, all right? This is wrong. So 1.84 hours is 1.84 times 60 equals 110 minutes which is also equals to 1 hour 50 
minutes. Okay, so the answer is the time for them to meet each other is 1 hour and 50 minutes if they are travelling at 100. This is travelling at 90 and the distance between them is 350. So how long will this happen? It's 1 hour and 50 minutes. So the next question I'm going to discuss with you is two objects travelling in the same direction. So again, I have car A and I have car B and they are both travelling in the same direction. Alright, so one object ahead, the other have to catch up or overtake. So that means car B started one hour ago or car B started at some distance which is ahead. So let's say car B started 300 kilometers ahead of car A. And if I say that car B travel at 30 kilometers per hour and car A travel at 120 kilometers per hour uh, and car B started over here. Alright, so let's just erase this otherwise it's a bit confusing. Let's erase this. So car B started here and they are doing at 30 kilometers per hour. So what time what time will A overtake B? Okay, so that's the question. So the time to overtake is the difference in the distance divided by the difference in the speed. So what's the difference in distance? So it's 300 kilometers per hour divided by the difference in speed is 120 minus 30. So equals to 3.33 hours. That's equals to 3 hours and 20 minutes. So in 3 hours and 20 minutes, car A will overtake car B. So the car A will be somewhere over here in 3 hours because car A is traveling faster than car B. Let's look at the next question. In this question, I have two objects starting in the same place over here. All right, so this is the starting line. Uh, difference in distance. What is the difference in distance? Also, after traveling for two hours, what is the difference in distance between car A and car B? So car A is travelling at 80 km per hour, car B is travelling at 60 km per hour. What's the difference after travelling for 2 hours? So the difference is the difference in speed times the time. So the difference in speed equals to 80 minus 60 equals to 20 km per hour times the time is uh, two hours over here, so two hours, so equals to 40 kilometers. So the difference in uh, distance is 40 kilometers after car A and car B have traveled for two hours.